Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove paint off of a piece of furniture. My friend gave me this really cute table a couple weeks ago, and she said she used latex paint on it, and it's peeling and chipping a little bit, so I wanna go in and use this citrus strip and show you my process of using citrus strip to remove the paint, so then we can maybe do some stain and chalk paint and wax and things like that. Before I start on the little table from my friend, I wanna share with you this little story about the first time I ever used citrus strip. I used it on a giant coffee table and I had no idea what I was doing. I used a metal scraper instead of a plastic scraper. I put it all over the table instead of just using it in sections and I got really frustrated and, and I couldn't even get all of it off. It was a nightmare. I let it dry on there and then I came back the next day and there was still citrus strip on there. I didn't know to use mineral spirits to get it off or steel wool or a toothbrush or anything. I had no idea what I was doing. So I started to sand over the citrus strip, which was like putty at that point. And then I sanded through the veneer. I just, this table was a mess and I am actually sitting on this table right now and I plan to finally face it. And I think this will be my next video. I wanna show you what the table looks like today. So here it is. This is the coffee table that I have not been able to face. Uh, it's like shame. It's so bad. But really, I had no idea what I was doing. So I don't want this to happen to anyone else. And ever since this table, I have done a lot of projects using the citrus strip. Ugh, it's bad. Look it. They're all oh, sand it down too far. You could still see this just citrus strip on there. So this is my what not to do table. I can't wait to finish it and be done with it and never have to look at it again. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this table. It's really cute and you can see it's chipping. Um, a lot of chips on the bottom, but we're gonna do this one and I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. And I'm pretty excited. Okay, so I wanna go over the supplies I'm using really quick. I got this drop cloth from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar um, because we're gonna make a mess. So. Of course we have our citrus strip, that's the stripping gel, and then our mineral spirits for cleanup. We always have to wear gloves because this is a chemical. And then we're gonna use plastic wrap and I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. And then steel wool for all the creases. And I also got one of these. Mine's really messy so I got a new one. Um, it's brass, I use the brass stripping brush and that's to get in the hard spots. Then we wanna use our chip brush, I just use one to um, lay the paint on. And I put my stripping gel inside just a container when I can throw away. And then we wanna use a plastic um, scraper. I got these for less than a dollar. And that is it. So let's get started. So if my table has feet, I always end up flipping it upside down and doing the feet first and even the underneath of the table if it has paint on it because it's really hard to get to when it's right side up. I like to use a generous amount when I'm applying the citrus strip. That way I know it's covered completely and it's way easier to work with. Here all four feet are covered with citrus strip and then covered with plastic. Now it's 40 minutes later and I remove the plastic wrap and I wanna show you how easy, I don't even use my scraper for the legs because there's just too many curves. I just take my steel wool and then I dip it in my mineral spirits. It's sort of like a mineral spirits wash. And at this point with legs and feet and spindles, the brush will be your best friend, the brush and the mineral spirits. So just to show an example, for this bottom part of the table, I didn't wrap it in plastic wrap. I wanted to show you the difference between using plastic wrap and not using plastic wrap. There's no rule that says you have to use it. I just prefer it. Because look when I go to scrape it off, it doesn't all come up and I would probably have to do a second coat and I don't wanna do that. I feel like it kinda of dries a little bit, but when you use the plastic wrap, it's almost like it keeps the heat in 
or it keeps the moisture in, it locks it in, so I definitely prefer wrapping it in plastic wrap. I later realized there was a few more supplies I would be needing, and that was another plastic container to hold my mineral spirits, and then some paper towel or a dirty rag, you know, just a, a garbage throwaway rag to wipe my tools down. I know this goes without saying, but this project is so super messy, so you want to keep your level of messiness down because it makes all the difference in your finished product, in your finished piece of furniture. You can tell if you're using dirty tools, there'll be putty everywhere, and the project is so hard, it starts to feel like madness. So try to stay organized and make sure you have some rags. So as you can see, I like to work in sections. Even when I'm applying my plastic wrap, I'll do one half of the table and then apply my plastic wrap and then I'll move on to the next half of the table and apply the plastic wrap. And then I always wait. With the plastic wrap, I feel like you only need to wait about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes, I don't know, that's not great for me. 40 seems to be the number. So after that amount of time, then I go back in and I do my scraping. And then I move on to the next section. This way I feel like I'm keeping organized and it's not making a huge mess. But, there are no rules and this is just my process. So, you know, take it for what it is. Now here we are 40 minutes later and I've used the plastic wrap and I just wanna show you, look at how easily that comes up. It comes up so nice and so easy. This doesn't take long at all and it's really great when it's a flat surface. Stripping furniture is pretty time consuming and even this little table is going to take me all day. And I, it could be just my process, but I've found every other way it still takes all day. Because if I don't do it in sections, I have to do it all at once, and then I almost have to do two coats because it dries. So, I don't know. If there's another way, you know, I would love to know it. You can leave it down in the comments below. But this is the way I do it. The time and cost that it adds Unless it's a piece for your own home, I just wouldn't do it for flipping. It just doesn't add up. It's another, you know, $25 to strip the furniture with all the products that you're going to use. And then all the time, it literally takes me about a day, you know, because you have to wait for the drying time in between. And it's a lot of work. And that's, yeah, I haven't even started sanding or painting. So before you're going to take on a piece that has lam or latex on it, I would definitely you know, consider the cost that you're gonna sell it for. And ask yourself, is it really worth your time and effort? And then there's the flip side to the coin, you know? With all that being said, you can find a piece that is a real gem underneath and it's something beautiful. So you might think it's completely worth it to do all the stripping, you know, whether it's a, a stain finish or a latex finish or even chalk paint you can remove. You know, sometimes it might be worth it. Um, but always just keep in consideration the cost and the time. And right now, chalk paint and furniture, that's what's trendy. But in 10 years from now or 20 years, maybe we'll all be removing chalk paint and that'll be what the trend is. <laughs> so I've done three sections already, the feet, the bottom, and then the top of the table. And now I'm gonna split the base into another three sections top with the flower design and then the actual leg part and then the bottom with the little table. I continued and scraped off the other three sides. So then I went ahead and I moved on to the second section, which are the legs, and I just applied a generous amount, making sure I got in all of the curves.
And here I'm reusing the plastic wrap that I used from the top and the legs. Might as well. So here we are 40 minutes later and I've got myself some help here. My husband grabbed a scraper and got to work. I'm using my scraper just for the long part of the legs, but I really like to use the brush and the steel wool for rounded or curved areas. And the brush and mineral spirits makes it a lot easier. And then add in some extra help and it's not so bad. And the more mineral spirits, the better. Mine is pretty much like a wash. It's, you're just washing it down with mineral spirits and you're scrubbing it with your brush. So here I am on the last step and I'm just gonna do the flat part and the sides. And I apply a whole lot and I put my plastic wrap on and I do it in sections just like I did the top. So it's pretty much the same process for the entire table. And here I just wanna show you what's left over in my jug. So I used a pretty good amount on just a small table, but it's a lot of area to cover. And here we are, we are almost at the end. So I'm just scraping the rest from the bottom and cleaning it up with the mineral spirits. And that's it, that's my process. It's about done. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. There's a few specks, but I'm gonna sand it for my next project. So I'm not gonna worry about it and I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week.